cargo humidity, and ventilation, including testing. Rice is a hygroscopic grain. This means that rice cargoes will absorb water from their surroundings, with the grain swelling and sometimes bursting. However, rice also releases water vapor to the atmosphere and may lose up to 15% of its weight as moisture. This moisture must be removed by ventilation or the cargo may be damaged. Ventilation is, however, not simply a matter of opening vents and switching on the fans. Inappropriate ventilation will itself damage cargo. Ventilation is appropriate only if the dew point of the air outside the hold is lower than that inside the hold. The ship's crew have a duty to monitor, care for, and protect the cargo during the voyage. In order to demonstrate this care, comprehensive records must be maintained of actions taken regarding cargo storage and condition. Decisions on whether to ventilate or not must be made on the basis of good, accurate information. Temperature readings must be taken for each hold and an outside control position once per watch. The control position should be on the bridge. Thermometers should be placed in a shaded spot on the windward side. They must not be exposed to direct sunlight or to heat from exhausts or other indirect sources. Both wet and dry bulb readings must be obtained at each position and the dew point temperatures carefully determined. The thermometers in the hold must be waved in the air until the wet bulb temperature is steady. Inaccurate readings will be obtained if this is not done. A whirling psychrometer may be used if space allows. Alternatively, a wet and dry bulb thermometer may be hung in the trunking of a hold exhaust ventilator. The information obtained at each position must be recorded in the ship's cargo record book in the cargo humidity temperature ventilation record. 